Hey, y'all. Hey. We are going to go ahead and answer the questions we asked you to leave in the comments. So um, that's our plan today. It's our Q&A video. Q&A. Our first one. So you can kind of get to know us a little better. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go through the list of comments here. Um, Anthony Fernandez asked, how did you get started homesteading? Did you just buy land and start small? How much background knowledge did you need? And how would you suggest that their family get started with no experience, next to no experience with homesteading? Um, we got started homesteading back in 2012? I think so. 2011. Yeah. 2011. The end of 2011. Um, and... I've always been a crunchy mom. I've done, you know, cloth diapering, home birthing, lean towards natural remedies before um, going with the conventional route. So I was already kind of in the mindset of going with a natural lifestyle, but when it came to food, not at all. No. <laughs> I was, I liked the idea of organic, but I also loved goldfish and red hots. <laughs> so um, we were living, we both grew up in the country, so living in the country is normal. And we were actually had moved from Virginia to Florida for a year. And we were living in the city, or city, it was a small town, it wasn't like, but we were on city water. And there were a lot of issues with the city water, so I started um, researching about clean water and how to filter the water and things like that, which was a rabbit hole and led to somehow getting into all of this um, food and watching food documentaries, uh, Food Inc., and all those that explain how um, backwards and mess up our food system is and the way the animals are fed and what they're fed. And and so it was like a, even though we were in a neighborhood, we were both in the neighborhood for the first time mm -hmm. in our lives, we started a garden in our backyard immediately. And I literally like went through the house and threw all of the food away. Yeah, Derek did. came home from work and was like, where is our food? We don't yes. have any. Like, we got to go to the grocery store. But at that time there was, you know, there weren't regular grocery stores carrying organic food. No. We had to drive two hours away to grocery shop at a natural food store and it was only um, like a co-op and another, yeah, um, so. like an earth fair I think there. And now there's, you know, Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and all that. So there's a lot and we go to Lucky's Market. There's a lot, but um, that was kind yeah. of the start. We would we would load up all the kids and go drive two hours and do yeah, all of our grocery shopping. We only had five kids shopping. at that point, though. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but we would do all of our grocery shopping for the month. So you can imagine how full our van was yeah yep and then um we ended up moving to virginia the next spring and we were going to buy our own homestead and we looked for like years and um there's a lot to the story so i can't go into all the details but um we were living with my parents they were traveling back and forth from florida to virginia a lot so they were like well just you know you can stay in our house at a big house and we kind of Took care of the house where they were gone it worked out and they had land and it connected to some family property so we homesteaded there we were able to uh, we had a family milk cow Garden, a couple of ponies, turkeys, chickens, pigs. Is that it? I think so. And we did everything yeah. kind of there. So then yep. it's just kind of snowballed from there. Right. Um, What's the next question? So, and as far as background knowledge, we just did a lot of studying. We yeah, did we watch watched a lot YouTube of YouTube videos, videos <laughs> and read a lot of books and blogs and all that. So um, I always say that arming yourself with knowledge is so important beforehand. And then you have to gain experience to really know what you're doing in life, but going into the experience with a lot of knowledge ahead of time helps a whole yes. lot. So that's kind of my advice and there. Jenna, Jenna is the researcher. I just, <laughs> I just listen to what she says and it usually works out. Um, tough old chick asks us about pigs. We want to know where we get our piglets and if there's a certain time of year we recommend starting them. Um, we just, we get them from, we've bought them from three different places right mm -hmm. in virginia we always got them from our our friend tanya um here we've bought them from two different uh breeders um i really like these two that we have now they're little hampshire maybe crosses but they look they're, like yeah. hampshire they're they're mm -hmm. really good looking pigs um but as far as time of year there's it doesn't really matter i mean a we, lot of people we've bought them in the, in the spring. yeah a lot of people start them in the spring so they're ready to butcher you usually f get them at eight weeks old. Yeah, in the in the fall when it's cold, um, but here it doesn't really get cold except for this year. So, <laughs> so I mean we've got piglets right now. So we've bought some in the middle of the winter, mm -hmm. some in last the last ones we bought we bought in February. Yeah. Yep. And our ultimate goal with pigs is to breed our own and have um, our own piglets that we yep. raise, and then we can sell or we can raise and sell the meat or sell them on hoof. You right. know, and we've done that in the past as far as um not raise our own piglets, but we bought. 
a whole bunch. And yes. then uh, sold. We had like 11 or 12 at one time? We had 11 piglets and three larger pigs. We had, um, no, two larger pigs. Yeah. So we had 13 at 13. one time. Okay. Yeah. The, um, as far as where to get pigs, you can look on, uh, on Craigslist is a good source for pigs, but you definitely want to make sure, look at the, the parents of the pigs that you're buying because that's a pretty good indicator of the confirmation that your pig is going to have. You don't want a really thin, slab-sided pig. You want a nice, round, fat parents. I mean, the mom's going to be kind of probably pulled down when you look at her just from nursing and raising the babies. But um, And you want to make sure you're getting them from somebody clean. You don't want to get... Um, piglets that are parasite ridden or no, you know no absolutely <laughs> so you not. definitely want to kind of vet out your source a little bit yep okay all right Luann asked several questions so what is your least favorite farm chore um I don't really have a least favorite I like doing everything but I enjoy farm chores much more when Derek's home so my least favorite is doing chores when Derek's not home <laughs> <laughs> I like doing chores with Derek but I still like doing them I mean the kids you know do them with me and everything yeah. but it's just always more fun when daddy's home so we can all do it together as a family yeah do you have a least favorite farm chore i enjoy doing all of it i just like when i'm home and can be able to help out yeah so i work full time outside the home for those of you who don't know so yes and luann also asked which tool slash farm implement do you wish you had that you don't currently own hmm a four-wheel drive tractor with a front end loader yeah that would be that's the top amazing. Of the list. That would be top of the list. Yeah. Secondary would be like a John Deere Gator or some kind yeah, of yeah, like an RTV, you know, something like that. Something more like a Gator that's more workable than, yeah, than like a bed, Polaris can, Ranger or yeah. something like that. And then Luann also asks if you could visit any other homesteader on YouTube, who would it be? And that's a really hard one because there's so many great um, channels out there. You know, obviously. I think um, Justin Rhodes and Rebecca Rhodes, their whole family is great, and they just did the Great American Farm Tour, so it would be really cool to hang out with them and um, just visit and pick their brain. Uh, Art and Bree, they're really fun. They have um, some great content on their channel, and I just find that our beliefs and our ideas line up a lot with what they represent on their channel, so they would be fun. Um, the Pratt family. Yep. We're getting to know uh, Mike and Jenny Pratt, and they're, they're so fun, and we kind of um, enjoy watching their channel and who else uh, I don't know I don't I just watch whatever you, <laughs> you're watching watch I just sit down I and watch. we watch it yeah so those are <clears throat> oh off grid with Doug and Stacy how could I forget them they, they've yeah. got a plethora of videos and all right. kinds of stuff they're just so fun and so it'd be really cool to just hang out with them and then Luann has one more question. She said, your kids seem so on board and even happy about the work they have to do. Jack even said he loves to work hard. How do you foster that with your kids? Um, uh, we have a scapegoats. Yeah, um, two of them. That's awesome. <laughs> They'll be all right. Uh, yep, anyway. <laughs> so, um, how do we foster that with our kids? Uh, we, I guess, first of all, we're parents to our kids, but then we're friends. Like, our, we, we really work hard to to be our kids best friend and instill that their siblings are their best friends so um, best friends with still the parent authority yeah, there it's not right. the we're friends so we let our kids get away with whatever they want we're no. very um focused on their heart yeah. and cultivating their heart and um you know if there's an issue which i mean their kids you're always going to have issues and they don't always have great attitudes when they work most of the time they do but some days they're yeah. just cranky just like anybody you know and we have to talk to them and we, so what we, we do is we always talk and get to the root of what's going on before you know jump to, jumping to conclusions and fighting and arguing or whatnot we really just like to sit down and um what's going on you know why why do you have a bad attitude today um <clears throat> and sometimes as simple as they didn't sleep good and so they're right. cranky or, you know, whatever. They just... Um, or one of their siblings did something to them took their leg three <laughs> days ago that hurt their feelings and they haven't dealt with it yet. Yeah. So, you know, just things, just little simple things. But we um, we talk with them and figure out what's going on with them, why they feel the way that they feel, and then we can better address the issues. Um, and we're very family-oriented, so we yeah. work together most of the yeah. time. We do we do about everything together. Yeah. I mean, we eat supper together every night. We sit down at the table and eat, eat our supper. Um, if we have to go out and do anything, you know, our grocery shopping, getting feed, all mm -hmm. of that, we um, everything we can do as a family, we do as a family. Right. You know, With we, the only exception is if we're going somewhere that we can't fit all the kids, like if we have to take the truck to go get hay or, or moving animals and we've got to use the trailer. 
then we'll let the, some of the kids stay with your mom. Yeah, your parents, mom and dad, they'll so. watch them and then we'll take, but we always alternate. Well, we take the two youngest and then one yeah. of the bigger kids goes. Um, and I don't know if you said or not, I hope um, but you know, if you ask our kids who their best friends are, they're going to tell you that it's us and their siblings. So, yeah. I mean, they have other friends and we do, you know, church and things. So we socialize as well. But when it comes down to it in life, you know, uh, we really put a lot of emphasis on the importance of family structure and having a healthy and happy home so we can raise children to be healthy and happy, emotionally um, sound adults. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Our neighbor, I'm pretty sure, is feeding his hog dogs because they are going crazy. <laughs> yeah, they are. Over across the road. Uh, All right. Um, and the Neils Homestead asked what state we are in. And we are in Florida. Florida. But there's a big difference between North Florida and South Florida. So we're more like uh, South Alabama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More like Southern Alabama. Yeah, we're, it's, we're way in North Florida. Yeah, but we're from Virginia. <clears> so um, we don't, I don't know if we have as quite of a southern accent is some um, but yeah deep south accent we're yeah, still from the ask, south people down here ask me where i'm from so they're like oh you're from up north and we're like well not really because virginia's still in the south but it's way more north than florida than so yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun to play around with people <laughs> And then, oh, Madeline, my cousin, asked when she can come visit and milk something. Um, well, we don't have anybody in milk right now, but come April, we'll have, you know, a couple of goats in milk. So, you know, yep. just after April. So, and I think that was all of the questions. So, um, yep. That's, okay. that's it. That's it. And we'll... um. We'll do another Q&A video uh, pretty soon. We'll we'll um, ask if y'all have any questions. We'll, we'll post another video. Yeah, this is kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, it's it's enjoyable. It's a way for y'all to get to know us and we us to know what questions y'all have about us. So. And if you're homesteading in the comments, go ahead and comment and tell us what got you started homesteading. And if you're not homesteading yet, tell us what, um, what has kind of put that in your heart that you want to start homesteading. Yep. And uh, like our channel, please. Subscribe to our channel. And like our videos. And, uh, Tell your friends about us um, because we're, we're trying to grow this channel and the more uh, followers we get, the more videos we're able to post. Yeah. <clears throat> so and anyway, share. and share. Yeah, we share freeze up more time. And, so um, just help kind of encourage you and hopefully teach you something yeah. about homesteading. We're, we're new to this whole video thing, you know, <laughs> kind of we're just, we've had the channel for several years, but we've just recently started really videoing a lot and, and putting out, trying to put out daily, daily. videos. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, this, this helps us if we know that y'all are interested and uh, mm -hmm. it's encouraging. So we're enjoying it. So y'all have Thanks a good day. Thanks for watching. Yep.